What's up there SEO pros, Chase Joyner here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a free downloadable checklist of 30 SEO tools that I personally use for my own websites and for my clients' websites. Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and download the checklist after the video. And what I'm going to be doing is just going to be running through each of the tools, sharing with you why I think uh, you should probably use them and why they are important. And I'll also be going over uh, the different pricings of the tools as well as my own personal rating um, from a one to five scale. So that's pretty much it. Before we jump right in, I just wanted to share with you, there's gonna be a couple more links in the description for you to uh, sign up for uh, or apply for a free call with me if you'd like to get on the phone with me for whatever reason, um, as well as get a free audit of your website if you're looking for some extra help. All of the information for that will be in the description of this video. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So here's the list. We got, uh, looks like, I think we have 30 to 31 tools in here. And I will be updating this spreadsheet as well. So when you go to the link, um, you're gonna see an opt-in basically uh, to put in your email. And that's really just so I can update you for um, the future with uh, different tutorials I'm gonna be doing for some of these, like Screaming Frog, Ahrefs, that kind of thing. So make sure to look out for those in the near future. Um, either way, let's just start going through each of the tools and let me actually put this down here so you can see me talk as well. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Cool, so first one we got is Ahrefs and I've sorted these by my own important scale. Um, you can sort these however you want so you can go by you know the type of tool you can go by the price you can go by um, that's pretty much it but so yeah Ahrefs is the first tool um, I'll just read off the description and these aren't unique descriptions I just got them from the website so don't think I went and wrote all this stuff out but um, so Ahrefs is uh, audit your website explore competitors research keywords and backlinks all in one place powered by seriously big data and trusted by top SEOs. So again, this is one tool that I personally use um, almost every day. Uh, it's great for competitor research, which is why I sort of categorized it that way. Uh, you can get a free trial for the first seven days, but other than that, it's gonna be $179 a month um, just to get like the basic sort of uh, subscription. And I do think this is one of the tools that if you were to save up a little bit of money, this would definitely be worth buying first. Um, next to Screaming Frog, which actually uh, I would probably buy Screaming Frog and then Ahrefs. So Screaming Frog um, is a, uh, let me just read it off. Screaming Frog SEO Spider is a website crawler that allows you to crawl website URLs and fetch key elements to analyze and audit technical on-site SEO. Uh, download for free or purchase license for additional advanced features. And uh, you can use Screaming Frog up to the first 500 URLs on a website. So if you're not auditing huge websites and the websites are like, you know, only, I don't know, let's say under 500 pages indexed. So if the way you want to check that, by the way, is just go to um, like any site, type in site colon, and I'm going to put in chaserunner.com. And here you can see there's only 213 results. So um, I wouldn't really need to buy Screaming Frog to crawl these. However, uh, for um, some of the things that you're going to want to do, like exporting your data and also um, connecting your Google Analytics and Search Console um, to get extra data as well, you're not going to be able to do that in the free version, which is sort of um, important, especially if you're going to be doing something that I call uh, Phase 2 SEO, which is part of the certification program that I've created. Um, but if you're just going to be doing like just basic audits and you're just trying to get like some money in the door by doing some audits, I would just get the free version. And then once you make a little bit of money, then probably invest in this tool and then probably Ahrefs. Um, so I forgot to mention the reason why I apply five out of five for these is because um, they really are necessary in order to like be able to um, <clears throat> really do decent SEO. Um, I wouldn't say that like you're not going to be able to rank websites without these, but they're very helpful if you're going to be doing client work and um, 
uh, keyword research, competitor research. Um, however, they are not completely necessary. If you can't afford Ahrefs in the beginning, I would go for something like Google Keyword Planner to do keyword research and then just get the free version of Screaming Frog um, and then work your way up to the two. Next, we have Google Search Console. Uh, Search Console tools and reports help you measure your site's search traffic and performance, fix issues, and make sure your site shines in Google search results. So pretty straightforward. Uh, most of you guys probably already know what Google Search Console is, but um, yeah, it is very, very necessary to get and it is free. Um, you're gonna be able to see what your pages are getting clicks for um, in terms of the keywords that they're showing up for. So uh, not only that, but you're gonna see if you get any manual penalties on your site or if uh, Google's trying to tell you anything because it's gonna show up in your messages um, on Google Search Console. So uh, definitely get this, um, definitely five out of five. Google Analytics, also super important, lets you uh, get a deeper understanding of your customers. Google Analytics gives you the free tools you need to analyze data for your business in one place. So um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, you know, you want to be able to get as much data as possible um, when you're doing any t sort of marketing. Um, being able to track conversions, being able to track where your traffic sources are coming in from, um, what the user metrics look like, all very, very important. And Google Analytics does that for you, and it's free. Uh, Google Sheets. The reason why I um, made this a five out of five is because I use Google Sheets for like everything, um, especially data entry and for my edit, my audit templates. Which, um, if you get this template, you're also going to get led to a page that will let you get the audit template if you don't have that already. But the audit template's very important because um, that's where I'm going to be filling out most of the uh, information for the sites that I'm auditing. And this is what it looks like. Here it is. Um, <clears throat> so I use Google Sheets for that. I use Google Sheets for uh, getting leads, like lead gen, and um, keeping track of uh, just a lot of stuff. So, you know, definitely if you're doing SEO and you're not utilizing Google Sheets, you have to really consider why you're not. Um, SEO audit template, so I'm a little bit biased on this, but you know, that's the thing that I just showed you. Uh, and it is something that I have spent, you know, a couple hundred hours on. Um, so I'll just read it off. With hundreds of audit videos and reviews, I've cum accumulated an insane amount of expertise and knowledge about SEO audits. I can easily say that when it comes to SEO, SEO audits are down, hands down my biggest area of specialization. So yeah, after doing probably, I'd say at least 200 audits in the last couple of years, um, I, I created this spreadsheet to make things easier on myself. Um, this is how I bring clients in um, and how I sell to them. So again, this is free and I am updating it right now. It's not completely, this version isn't out yet, but I am updating it with notes for each section of the, um, of the uh, template. So you can, you can be able to read off what these different things mean. And then there's also going to be posts next to them so that you can um, uh, read about how to fix these different issues. So if you do want to be able to go um, get this version as well, I will be um, releasing this very soon in the near future once I, um, once I finish that. But the version without the notes and the links are, is already in there in the page you're going to get to. Um, Facebook group. So, uh, if you're new to SEO, it's important to surround yourself with like-minded individuals and ask questions. That's what I did when I first started. Um, and it was one of the most beneficial things that I could have done uh, because it was uh, made it really easy for me to ask questions and um, you know collaborate with people who I wanted to you know um, uh, you know ask questions to. I mean, there's just a, there's a ton of reasons why you would want to be in a community like yourself. It's just good to be around people who are trying to do what you want to do to make sure that you're um, sort of following what. Uh, other successful people are doing rather than just be out there all by yourself. So I have a Facebook group with like 18,000 SEOs in it. Um, there might be more by the time you watch this video and uh, totally free to join. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, it's a four out of five just because it's not 100% necessary, but it is still something that I would definitely recommend. Um, Google structured data testing tool. So this is Google's tool to test structured data markup on web pages. So it's really good for testing schema markup. And, um, you know, it's free to use four out of five, mainly because schema isn't 
100% necessary, but it's still very important. So that's why I gave it that rating. Yoast um, is a uh, tool that helps you with your website optimization, whether it be through our widely used or their widely used software or their online SEO courses. They're here to help apparently. Um, I just use their free tool. I don't, um, their free plugin. I don't use the, um, well, I actually have the paid version just because I wanted to try it out, but I don't personally recommend you go out and buy it because it's not really necessary. And if you, a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, Chase, should I use other tools uh, instead of Yoast? Like I think there was one called Rank Math that people were asking me about or All in One. Um, look, the, the thing is at the end of the day, if the tool works for you, then use it. Uh, I like Yoast for now just because, and what I, is what I've been using, just because it goes with like all my templates and what I teach and that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure there's other plugins that are, do just as well. Um, I did use all in one one time and they didn't have the ability to specify canonical tags at the time. So I was like, that's ridiculous. So I switched back to Yoast. Uh, maybe they've changed now, maybe they're better, who knows. Um, but for now, I think Yoast is completely fine. But I don't think it's necessary to buy the pro. Uh, WPSSO Core. So WPSSO Core for WordPress is fast, simple, and provides complete information about your web page content to social sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Search crawlers, Google Bing, etc. Mail and messaging. Okay, so basically what this does is it um, lets you specify uh, your data for social networks, um, sort of like how you would specify your title and meta description for Google. Um, this just lets you specify your sharing data, which is also co called open graph data or OG data. Um, the plugin by itself is 60 bucks. Um, if you want to be able to specify the data, otherwise you can get it for free and then it'll just auto share whatever's in your title and meta for, from Yoast. Um, if you buy multiple licenses, like I think if you buy like five at a time or 10 at a time or something like that, it's only like $10 per license for this. Um, so if you have multiple sites, you know, it's actually pretty cheap. Um, and it is something that I would definitely recommend. Um, OG data is something that's often overlooked by most people. And uh, the other cool thing is that this also marks up images on your site with schema and does a bunch of other cool stuff. So that's actually pretty much it. Um, you can use other capabilities within this, but that's the biggest things. Um, so yeah, that's why I give it a four out of five, but again, not a hundred percent necessary if you're just trying to go the free route. Uh, GT metrics. So GT metrics is a free tool that analyzes your pages, speed performance. I know some of you guys hate GPT metrics and you'd rather use like Pingdom or uh, I don't know, whatever other site. It doesn't matter to me as long as you can get an idea about how fast the page loads. Um, obviously you want to be, try to be below 2.5 seconds um, for your pages um, or preferably below two seconds. Um, Benchmarketer. So this is a tool that I um, personally got built um, and it was formerly known as Rank Chaser. Uh, before I found out that somebody else already had that name. Uh, the software is built to tell you averages for a given keyword and URL. All you have to do is find a keyword you want to rank and a URL to rank for that keyword, run a scan and see how many words, images, videos, etc. you need to rank. Uh, the price is 49 per month. Um, head over to purchase a subscription, whatever. So yeah, um, again, the, the reason why I made this is because I was experimenting with um, this software that came out called Quora. Uh, it was like $250 a month and I didn't even really mind that. It, the problem that I had is that it just took so long to scan. Um, I think it took like a couple minutes or three minutes or whatever to scan like one keyword. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to just have one that scans super quickly. So I got this one built. Um, you just put in a keyword in a URL and in like five, 10 seconds, it's done. You, you know pretty much all the averages you need to know. And instead of there being like 200 or 500 or whatever, 700 ranking factors that are in Quora, um, Benchmarketer, it's only 10 and it just tells you like, what are the average images for the top 10 results? What are the average word counts for the top 10 results? So on and so on. So I give it a four out of five, but again, I'm partially biased. So if you want to give that a three out of five, <laughs> that's totally fine with you. Um, or if you want to give it a one out of five, who cares? Uh, again, I made this more for me than I did for other people and other people just seem to use it. Uh, Discord groups, so uh, sort of like Facebook groups, you know, you, you can definitely um, utilize this environment to your advantage. Uh, the thing that's cool about Discord groups is that you get the ability to uh, uh, talk like live with people, which is a little bit um, different than like a Facebook group where you post and you have to kind of wait for people to respond. Uh, I mean, you have to do that here as well, but it, it's uh, it's not as like instant chat layout. 
Um, and then also you can jump into things like this, like a SEO voice chat. And anybody who jumps into here, uh, you could just start talking with a group of people, which is kind of cool. So we got like 600 people on our Discord right now. We'll probably be getting more in the near future as well. Um, smush it. So smush it is a uh, resize, optimize, and compress all of your images with incredible, powerful, incredibly powerful and 100% free WordPress image smusher. Um, the thing that's annoying about the free version of it, of this tool is that you have to continually press the smush for like every 50 images on your site. Um, but it's a small price to pay if you don't want to spend money on the tool. Um, and honestly, it doesn't take that long to smush every image on your site unless you have like hundreds of thousands of images on your site. But um, definitely want to compress your images. The other free route, if you don't want to use smush it, and I probably should have put this in here, is tinypng, where you can just drag the images in here, or compress them manually, and then add them in to your website. Um, Sogo add script uh, header footer. So create a simple way to add JavaScript code to individual pages or post custom post type header and footer. So you can basically use this on, um, you know, like your home page or like a sub page on your website to add schema markup or conversion tracker, whatever you want. I usually use it for schema markup to manually add schema markup for certain pages like about and contact pages. And this tool works great for that uh, and it's free. Citation Builder Pro, so this is a service. It's less of a tool, but it's sort of a tool because you don't have to really do anything here to get citations built. And uh, basically what it is, is a citation building service for 50 plus countries. It's generally around 60 to $120 to get citations built. And uh, this is the one link that, I don't actually make any money off this, but this is the one link that I am affiliated with. And uh, you can see here they give you a discount if you want to get, um, oh, actually, it looks like it's only $30 for 50 citations. So that's a pretty good deal. So, yeah, this is who I use. Um, they do my citations for free as long as I keep mentioning them in my videos. So that's pretty much the only affiliation I have with them. And you can see here you get, uh, I'd probably get around 50 to 100 citations. Once you get to about 200, I think it starts to become a little bit unnecessary, but it just really depends. The way you're going to be able to tell how many citations you need is just go into something like whitespark.ca check out what your competitors have, how many citations they have, and then just try to get more than them. Uh, Pitchbox is an email outreach tool that I uh, would recommend if you can afford it. It's really expensive these days. It's like $5,000 a year. If you want to get something a little bit cheaper, you can go with like Buzzstream or Ninja Outreach, or I think I heard somebody say Scope Leads was another one. I don't know what the best one is. I try. I used to, back in the day. I was trying out Ninja Outreach and Buzzstream, that kind of thing. They were a little bit janky. Um, Pitchbox is by far the most powerful outreach tool in my opinion. But if you want to use something like Scope Leads, which I've heard good things about, you can do that as well. Um, but it is very important to be able to do outreach for a bunch of different reasons, which I'm not going to talk about right now. But I'm assuming you guys probably understand the importance of out outreach. So SiteLiner is a duplicate content checker. Uh, basically you put a site into SiteLiner and it spits out a bunch of um, pages from that site and tells you how much duplicate content the site has. If you're gonna be scanning a large website and you don't have, um, you don't have a premium account, it will only scan up to a certain amount of pages so you might have to buy credits, but generally the credits are pretty cheap. I think it's anywhere from free to $25. Copyscape, instead of looking at internal duplicate content on your website, looks at external duplicate content, which is uh, sort of you know important because you don't want to uh, add duplicate content from other sites to your website. Um, the premium is, uh, I think it's it starts at like $25 as well. I'm not really too sure about the pricing of Copyscape because I always use the free version. Writer's Access uh, is a fa the fastest growing marketplace connecting thousands of businesses and agencies with top rated freelance what uh, writers, editors, and content strategists uh, that know how to grow businesses organically the content marketing way. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a content site that you can buy content off of. Uh, in order to get an account on there, you need to pay $39 a month. And then on top of that, then you're gonna hire your writers. Uh, this is what I personally use for my content because I actually usually get uh, legit content writers unlike some of the other websites that I've tried, like iWriter or Upwork or Fiverr, or whatever, uh, those sites really haven't been able to give me good 
consistently good content under like, unlike writer's access uh, it is a little bit more pricey i think you're paying more like 50 to 100 dollars per article but um, the articles are generally pretty good uh keyword shitter 2 uh is a bulk keyword finder based of the of sorry a lot of these descriptions are written weird because a lot of these tools are made by uh people who don't speak english um based off the beloved keyword shitter the tool is great for finding long tail keywords and it is kind of a weird name but um it's pretty cool you just put in a keyword like seo coaching you press this button and it'll show you all the different related keywords to that um, long tail um, which is kind of cool uh mailchimp uh, i think a lot of you guys know what mailchimp is but it's email marketing ads landing pages and crm tools to grow your business on um your terms and this is just what people use to uh, generally mail out um, to their mail mailing list uh, you can use like aweber or other services i've only ever used mailchimp uh, it's not too expensive i'm paying like 60 dollars a month right now i think for an email list of like 7,000 people <clears throat> um, for up to like 500 or a thousand people on your mailing list i think it's free so uh, this is definitely one of the tools that I would add in my arsenal if I were you, um, if you're if you're going to be collecting emails off your website or whatever um, marketing platform you're utilizing, which you really should be. If you're not collecting emails or funneling people into a Facebook group or something like that, then you're going to be losing out on a lot of your um, long term conversions. Broken link checker. So uh, free broken link checker, online dead link checking tool. So this is a plugin that you put on your website. Just keep scanning your website like every week. It tells you if there's any broken links showing up. And I think it will also alert your email if you want it to. Uh, and it is free. It will also fix them for you as well. <clears throat> EPS redirects helps you manage and create 301 to 3 and 302 redirects for your WordPress site to improve SEO and visitor experience. So 301. Uh, redirects are basically what you're going to want to do on your site if you are um, you know having dead pages that have links to them or incoming traffic that was going to them and you want to redirect them to other pages which you generally want to do and EPS redirects helps you do that if you have Yoast Pro and you did get that already after not listening to my advice uh, you can you don't have to get this because um, Yoast uh, Pro will do the redirects for you for 10 for WordPress um, is uh, this plugin will issue a HTTP 410 response to requests for articles that no longer exist on your blog. When you delete a post or page, it records that URL for that page and issues a 410 response when the URL is requested. Um, so again, if you have 404 pages on your website, it is very important that you're not just leaving them as temporarily not found. You want to set them as 410s. So if pages do 404 and you delete them, this page, this plugin will pick them up and you can set them as 410s to let Google not to come back to the pages and to completely remove them. Um, by letting them know the 410 status code, which means permanently deleted. Updraft Plus uh, simplifies backups and rest restorations. Basically, it's just a backup plugin. Um, pretty self explanatory. <clears throat> Markup JSON LD structured in schema.org is a WordPress plugin that lets you uh, specify schema on your website. And I think I already have a tutorial for this. There's actually a couple of these that I already have tutorials for, like Screaming Frog. Uh, search console analytics. I, I just have to update them. That's why I didn't put them in here yet. So um, if you guys are wondering like, how do I use the schema plugin? Don't worry, I, I'll make the tutorial soon. And I didn't even put this in here, schema tool. I'll just put the SEO tool. Forgot to specify some of these. Um, okay, check my links, or sorry, Scrapebox. Scrapebox is uh, harvest thousands of URLs from Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and, and 30 other search engines in seconds. With inbuilt footprints for finding numerous platforms like WordPress, Form, Guest Books, etc., you can gather lists of links that are highly relevant to your keywords and niche. Great for researching competitors, finding new blogs to comment on, doing product research, or even gathering facts and info for your next blog or article. Um, so yeah, Scrapebox is worth is about ninety seven dollars. I made it a two out of five, but it is a really really cool tool if you can learn how to use it. Um, I would make it a like four out of five or a five out of five if it wasn't for the fact that it's super hard to learn and it's super hard to like figure out how to use. Um, if you can figure it out how to use it, which uh, I have a couple of tutorials for it, I would probably uh, set this higher. But 
it really kind of eliminates the need to use other outreach tools, not altogether, but it, it, it is very um, efficient at being able to do outreach through contact forms and doing some other crazy stuff uh, if you can figure out how to use it. So uh, this is one of the tools that I would definitely get if you are looking to learn how to use a tool that's really technical um, for um, ma more manual or automated um, type outreach and, and scraping and stuff like that. Uh, check my links is a, a link checker that you basically run on a page and it tells you really quickly if there's any broken links. So you can see here it is um, and it's pretty cool. It'll tell you, oh, there's broken links on this page. Just a quick way to see if there's anything going on wrong with a page um, in terms of the links. Simple sitemap is just a, a plugin for WordPress that lets you put a um, sitemap on your uh, HTML sitemap on your site so that uh, visitors can see a viewable HTML sitemap, not an XML sitemap. And then WP Fast's cache is just for um, page speed optimization. Uh, this plugin creates static HTML files from your dynamic WordPress blog. Uh, when a page is rendered, rendered, PHP and MySQL are used, therefore system needs RAM and CPU. Many visitors come to a site, system uses a lot of RAM and CPU, so page is rendered so slowly. In this case, you need a cache system not to render page again and again. Uh, cache system generates a static HTML and uh, file and saves. Other use users uh, reach to a static HTML page. So um, in English, basically, this just lets you use caching um, so that when visitors visit the site, they don't have to keep reloading it every single time, and it stores a version for them. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's the uh, tool list. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and that you guys get some value from it. It didn't take me too long to put together, but it definitely took me like pretty much all of yesterday to kind of put together all this. So I hope you get some value from it. Um, if I missed any tools in here, let me know in the um, comments and I'll try to add something else. Um, I'll try to add a, I'll try to add that in here um, as well as like um, any of the tutorials. If you are looking for any of them specifically before others, let me know. Uh, and then lastly, again, I did mention the certification program. Um, if you are looking to up your game, I'll leave a link to this, but um, this is the certification program that I've been offering. I spent a lot of time creating. Uh, this is where I spend most of my time when I'm not um, on YouTube. And uh, the cool thing about this program is that once you get certified, um, you actually get the opportunity to uh, get leads from me. So, so what I'm doing now is, um, people who are asking for an SEO audit, um, I'm actually feeding the SEO audits to people in my certification. Um, so you get certified, uh, you learn how to do audits, you learn how to do SEO, um, on the different phases I was talking about, and then you get to start getting leads, uh, for your business. And some of the leads that I've been getting are anywhere from, you know, $500, uh, budgets to, you know, $15,000 budgets. And uh, you get all of this, which I'm still updating. Um, I think it's close to 50 to 100 hours of video, depending on how much you d decide on watching. Uh, you get to learn about um, client generation, local SEO, national SEO, um, all the different phases. You get to watch the previous uh, meetings. You get monthly, or sorry, weekly group calls, um, private one-on-calls -on -calls with me, bunch of cool stuff. So. Um, if you're looking to get more information about it, you want to apply, just go to this page, say, you know, fill out your information. And if you uh, match the criteria I'm looking for um, and you seem serious enough, then I will give you a call and we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. So that's it for today, guys. Um, thank you all for stopping by. And uh, until I see you all next time, happy SEOing.